everyone, ciao ragazzi. We're going to be making some homemade pasta today. Um, our ingredients that we'll use today are going to be semolina flour. We have 300 grams, which is about two cups. And then we have um, 200 grams of um, double zero um, of purpose flour in here. Um, this is like they used to make pizza in Napoli sometimes. And then we have a little bit of nutritional yeast, um, just a few pinches of it, mixed um, with a half of a teaspoon of salt, and then some turmeric for coloring. And here we have 200 grams of water, which is about um, this much of the cup. The first step we're going to do is mix all of our ingredients together. Okay, next we'll be putting everything into a stand mixer. So we're going to put the ingredients right inside the bowl that we're going to mix it in. Um, so we're going to put the semolina powder. And then we're going to put the all purpose, or not all purpose, um, double zero flour. And then we're going to be putting our salt, turmeric. Be careful with the turmeric because it gets really yellow. So sometimes you have to take a little bit of the flour, mix it in, and then put it back in the container so you get it all out. We don't want any yellow stains later. And then the nutritional yeast. Once that's all in here, we're going to... Um, mix it up into our stand mixer. Okay. So we have our dry ingredients. It's important that you use the dough hook for this one um, because we want it to mix really well with the dough. So we're going to take the mix, put it on here. Always lock this because if it goes around you're going to have stuff all over the place and let's put it on a gentle mix of like two until everything is all mixed inside even Once it's been on for about two minutes, everything should be mixed together. We're going to turn off the machine and start adding our wet ingredients. So once it's been on for about two minutes, we're going to mix it a little bit by hand with a spatula. You'll notice inside of here, that the yellow tended to go towards the middle and the white towards the outside. So we're going to take this and mix it all up together by hand. We want this really well mixed. Next we'll put it back on here. Lock it and turn on a little bit more. That looks good. Now we're going to start to add our wet ingredients. So as you remember, we prepped 200 grams of water um, at room temperature. We're going to open this up and make a little hole right in the center. You can either use your hands or you can use the spatula to make a hole in the center. Then we're gonna add the water right to the center of that hole. Put on our dough mixer and knead it again. I'm putting it on number two. Okay, 
out kind of like this. At this point, um, take your clean hands and um, make a dough ball out of the dough. Look at that color. We have an eggless pasta that's still yellow, so we can get some of that yellow color in there. stand mixer and we're going to mix it by hand. We made a little indentation inside the middle and poured the rest of this dry flour in it and now we're going to keep folding it over. too much oxygen getting in here. So I'm putting it right back in the stand mixer to save some room and putting the saran wrap over the top. I use this clingy stuff to make sure that no air gets inside of here. Okay. Hold it, put it aside for 30 minutes and then come back. For the filling of the pasta, we're going to make it pretty simple. We're going to use half of a pound of tofu, and then we're going to use this vegan plant-based pesto by Filippo Berrio. And this, um, you can be as creative as you want to. You can either use the firm tofu and cut it by hand, or to save little time, we're going to be putting it into our Vitamix with a spoon of pesto. Mix it together and then you have a stuffing for your pasta, ravioli, and whatever you want to make with this pasta dough. some nuts inside of here to make it even more crunchy. So we waited the 30 minutes and now for the next part you need some special tools in order to make pasta and ravioli. So um, this is not sponsored in any way but we um, did purchase this A-N-T-R-E ant tree it looks like. Um, pasta maker we found on Amazon and it was a fraction of the price again the KitchenAid version and it has three in one so we're really excited to get it. While we're doing this we're boiling our water um, for the pasta. We're going to take the dough balls that we made and we're going to start with this little one over here. It looks like it's nice and hard. And we're going to divide this up into halves. This tool I'm using um, is kind of like a scraper for a grill and it cuts really well. We found these at Costco. 
These are made by Cuisinart. And we're gonna take this, I'm just going to flatten it just a tiny bit so that way I can put it into our machine. Our machine has three parts in here. So the first part is going to be to flatten the dough. The second part is if you want to make noodles. And this part over here is gonna be if you wanna make ravioli. So we're gonna put this on nice and slowly to begin, like at number two. And we're gonna take our dough that we just flattened a little bit by hand, and we're gonna put it into the machine. In the beginning, there's a dial here. We wanna put it on a really low number. To um, change it, you have to pull it out and twist it. So we're gonna put a number two. It creates the rollers further apart from each other so that way the dough can fit inside. And so this is number two thickness. You can see it had already made it pretty thick. However, we're going to keep putting this in until we get the consistency we want for ravioli. And what I'm looking for is that the dough will go stretch from side to side. Look at that, only three times through and you already made quite a sheet. Let's stop the machine and now make it a little bit thinner. So we'll put it on number four. This process goes really quickly. I like it at number four, however, you can make it thinner if you want to. Let's put it for fun on um, number seven to show you how thin it can get. This is really thin. I almost wonder if it's too thin. Okay, so for part two, um, once you have it at your desired thickness that you want your ravioli, is we're gonna find the middle of the sheet and put it right here in the center of the ravioli machine. That way um, it will push together half and half. Then we're gonna take this piece and we're going to carefully put it around the dough so that way the dough is still in the center. Oh, there it is. Okay. okay, so we put the dough right in the center and I'm gonna create a little pocket in here so that we can put the stuffing inside of the dough. So we made a tofu nut pesto stuffing with spinach. We're gonna take the stuffing and we're gonna pour it right inside of the sauce holder for the stuffing holder. I want to fill it all the way up. Okay. Next part we do by hand and there's a little knob on here. We're going to twist it like this and it's going to make the ravioli. We're going to do this pretty slowly because we don't want to ruin any of the dough, which we spent so long making. And it's coming out.
Look at that. Find a sheet to put your dough in. ravioli. The next step is to cook the pasta. We decided to make ravioli today and we're going to make some sheets for lasagna.